Skipper. Two markers. Just got to go between them. Steady as she goes, Skipper. So we're just going to come around this side of the island and anchor up for a bit. Got a little bit of work. Ah, then the wind will probably swing around. The wind's always changing around over here. So nice to be back on the water. Trying out this new microphone too with a windsock, so see how it goes. Oh yeah, just need that sun to come out. She's putting the bridle on. Well, we just moved. It's a bit too uh, swelly around there. And the uh, 4G signal wasn't too good because we actually got to do a little bit of work on the boat today. But anyhow, I'll take you up front and show you what's here. That over there is the main Keppel Island. And that up there is the restaurant. And pub whatnot take you for a walk up there one day but we're just quite happy to hang here as you can see no other boats around and that's the beauty of having a little cat like this we only draw like 0.75 plus we can sit on the bottom and we just lift the motors up we've got no rudders we've got nothing we've just got little mini keels on the bottom so basically and we can go places that a lot of boats can't go to. Yeah, not bad. 1.5 still going down. Beauty of having a cat is you don't draw much water. That's the low depth alarm. Worst case, we'd have to lift the motors up. Absolutely beautiful afternoon. Just been sitting on the bow, relaxing, sun's out. We've decided to stay here for the night. Deb's on the canoe over there. Didn't bring the rib this time. That's beautiful. No other boats. Probably because it's just too shallow in here. Right, looks like the boys are loaded with the rubbish off to the mainland. What a cool little gig! Just heading over to North Keppel now. I'm going to check it out. Beautiful day again. Whoa, yeah. Absolutely beautiful day. Over there's Pumpkin Island. It's a private island, you can stay there. It's gorgeous. And this is North Keppel.
behind us way over there is main Keppel Island it's where we come from apparently there's a research mob in there research facility I should say what an island absolutely gorgeous beautiful day your poon is way over there Be the uh, research boat. It's beautiful. It's really picturesque, and the water's really calm here. Deb's just let the anchor down. Put the bridle on. Yep. Oh, just jumped in the water. Absolutely beautiful. I believe this is called Constantine, Constantine Bay or something. Yeah, she's a bit chilly. It's just a uh, grassy, sandy bottom. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's going to whistle when it's ready. Marina says rescue, Marina says rescue. Yipoon rescue one on channel 21. Do you have a copy over? Just paddled over here under the beach. Have a look at that. Look at that little beach just there, all to ourselves. Oh yeah, so glad it came over here. This is just awesome. Look at that behind me, hey? So much to explore. So you can kind of have, well, two kinds of boats, well three actually. If you're very, very wealthy, you can have a big fast boat. But normal people, you can either have a little fast one or you can have a big slow one. So we opted for the big slow one and that enables us to just load it up with everything we need and come to places like this and just hang out. Who needs to go overseas? You got this right in the backyard. Well, that's my beach, and this one's Deb's beach.
That's just gorgeous. Forget about the world when you're over here. Water so clear, just about drink it. It's hard to hold the GoPro stick and paddle. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it level for you. Heading out to the aircraft carrier. <laughs> 